Welcome to dealing with materials data, we are looking at the collection, analysis and interpretation of data from material science and engineering. We are in the module 6 which is on case studies and this is the fourth case study which is on design of experiments. Uh, we are going to use this microwave plasma process optimization to produce nano titania as the example case to understand design of experiments. Here the optimization is done through the design of experiments. And the data and the method are described in detail uh, in the paper by K. Mrugan et al., Materials and Manufacturing Processes, uh, published in 2011. Uh, this paper is about synthesis of commercially important titanium nanopowder from low cost titanium tetrachloride using microwave plasma process. And uh, what they studied and tried to optimize is the uh, parametric impact on process parameter of the process parameters on conversion efficiency and percentage annotase in the titanium powder. So, they did the design of experiments so that they can optimize the parameters to get uh, maximum efficiency and uh, uh, best percentage annotase in titanium uh, nanopowder. So, there are uh, lots of R libraries uh, to do design of experiments, doe.base, frf2, doe.wrapper and there is also a, a plugin which will allow you to use a GUI to do uh, these analysis. Uh, Professor uh, Ulrike Grompink has given uh, lots of material uh, including some slides and manuals etc. And there is also a CRAN page. Uh, which is for design of experiments and analysis of experimental data, uh, which is what is shown here. So, it is at the CRAN R project um, experiment uh, design of experiments page. Uh, there, there are lots of libraries and uh, material that is available and what you can do is given and uh, they also refer to Grompink's um, uh, work. And so, they have this uh, fractional factorial two level design which is a uh, very comprehensive R package. And there are other packages also which you can explore for doing the design of experiments. However, in this session, uh, this is not uh, what we are planning to do. Uh, we want to carry out uh, the analysis using linear model fitting and ANOVA. So, we are going to do the most uh, direct way possible so that you will understand it better. And we will use this uh, paper uh, by Murugan et al. to uh, to confirm that our analysis is okay and we are getting the same results as is reported in this paper. However, it might be a good idea to explore these and um, make some de experimental design yourself. For example, the design matrix, uh, how do you decide and, and things like that. So, you can use these uh, uh, libraries and generate them yourself. So, uh, the paper has uh, replication experiments. So, two levels and two sets of experiments had been done and what is reported in the paper is lump data and only the averages are reported. Uh, but uh, we have the raw data available to thanks to Professor Gokhale who is one of the co-authors and so we are going to use the raw data and I am going to share that raw data also with you. So, you can do the analysis on the data and confirm that the results that are reported in the paper is what we are getting. And uh, I am not going to reproduce all the results, I am going to leave some of them out so that you can try and uh, do it yourself. It might take a bit of effort and a little bit of reading and also some amount of uh, practicing with R and thinking about what the quantities are and how they are calculated and so on. But uh, you have been taught design of experiments in the other part of the course and so you should be able to take all that knowledge and uh, use R to solve um, whatever is left out. Uh, but in principle, you should be able to reproduce all the results uh, in the paper uh, using the lecture that you have heard on design of experiments and uh, the code and the data that I am going to share with you. So, let us uh, do this, uh, we will use, um, I am also going to uh, keep this uh, paper uh, handy. So, this is the paper by uh, Murugan et al. So, this is about microwave plasma process optimization to produce nano titania through design of experiments and uh, it also has some interesting conclusions uh, which is uh, worth uh, going through. Um, and, uh, and, and we our aim is to actually take the data 
and produce uh, the results. Uh, by results uh, we mean that this table of coefficients and uh, this analysis of variance table for example and these uh, figures right residuals figures um, and, and so on. So, you should be able to produce this uh, normal probability plot and uh, the table of means uh, uh, plots. So they might involve some effort. Uh, but that will help you understand uh, the methodology as well as our programming better. So, I am going to do for uh, um, one. So, there are uh, two exercises, uh, they are repetitions of the same exercise, uh, but one is done for uh, percentage efficiency, the other one is done for annotated uh, percentage. So, let us uh, do this. So, we are going to reproduce using R. Okay. So, I am going to take, so the first step is to read the data. So, let us do that. So, we want to read uh, this data and, um, and we, the, the, what the paper reports is only the, um, so, this is the design matrix and this is what is shown in coded form in the data that I will show you. And uh, and the uh, data on efficiency and percentage analysis is needed that is not here. So, I am going to uh, show you the data. So, so, this might be familiar to you from the presentation and in the presentation what was shown for these two uh, is the average of efficiency in Danites of uh, 16 experiments. Uh, but here we are showing you the full uh, data. So, I am going to show for 32 experiments and so the first 16 and the next 16 is basically repetition of the first 16. Okay. And uh, in each case uh, what is the um, percentage uh, annotase obtained and efficiency percentage is what is uh, given. So, this is the data that we are going to use. So, the first step is to read the data. And uh, we know that uh, the, the different uh, columns of the table uh, give you this uh, PFR, AFR, CFR, FR, RC, power, ET, etc. So, I am going to use the same symbols because these were the ones that are used in the paper. So, I am going to say second column is PFR, third column is AFR, fourth column is CFR, etc. And then there are interactions and the interactions are between PFR and AFR, CFR, FR and AFR with CFR and FR. So, these were the 5 interactions which were decided to be important for this study and that is given here in this uh, uh, table. Right? So, uh, PFR with AFR, CFR, FR and AFR with CFR, FR. So, these were decided to be important and these are the other um, 7 uh, parameters. So, 7 plus 5 there are 12 parameters and the response is percentage efficiency and percentage analysis which is what is uh, given. So, once we have uh, this, so let us uh, read and uh, get this data. So, once we have this uh, data in place, then we can start our analysis. The first thing we want to do is that uh, we want to do the logit transformation uh, which is very important. And as you have learnt, if you do not do in this case, you might get wrong results like you might get uh, percentages uh, which go above 100 and things like that. So, after we do the logic transformation, we want to fit and we want to look at how the fitted parameters look like. So, this is the, so, so I am saying that, uh, that this logit uh, efficiency uh, is a function of PFR, AFR, CFR, FR, RCL, PWR, ET and these uh, 5 interaction parameters and there is a constant that will show up anyway. So, now you can see that the fit actually gives you the fitted parameters along with their standard error and now let us compare what we have in the paper. 
Okay. So, here is what is there in the paper and you can see that this 4375 is this and 3272 is here and 8854 is here and so on. So, basically this column corresponds to the um, estimate of the parameter and this is the standard error. So, it is 10088 which is 1009 up to 4 decimal places and if you take it up to second decimal place the T value is given 4.336, minus 3.24, 8.78 etcetera and these are the P values. And in the paper alpha was taken to be 0 0.05, so anything less than 0 0.05 here was considered to be important and uh, the conclusion that was drawn was uh, PFR, FR, FR, RCL and uh, the 3 interactions of uh, PFR with the other quantities were statistically significant. And here you can see we have the statistical significance marked by 3 stars, 2 stars and 1 star. So, anything up to 1 star is 0 0.05, so point is actually 0.1. Uh, so, it is a 10 percent uh, significance uh, level. So, the other ones, so you can see that I 1, I 2, I 3 which correspond to this PFR, AFR, PFR, CFR, PFR, FR are considered to be important here also. So, significance code indicates that uh, with uh, alpha 0 0.05 these 3 are significant. These 3 are significant, uh, these 2 are significant even with alpha 0 0.01. Uh, so, obviously for 0 0.05 they are significant, so that is the RCL and PFR and then with uh, uh, 0 0.001 level of significance uh, these two FR and the intercept and uh, AFR are important. So, these are these 3 are important and that is what is given now. So, 0.4375 so that is this quantity plus minus 0 0.3272 PFR that is X1 and uh, minus 0.8854 AFR right and the next one CFR is not significant. So, X3 is skipped and then it is X4 which is given 4943. Uh, uh, so, that is given with X4 and then the fifth one RCL is important. So, 28990 X5 is given but X6 uh, is not important. So, we have left it out. And then 0 0.2513 X1 X2, so 2513 X1 X2. 2590, 2589 um, that is uh, X1, X3 and 2230, X1, X4. So, these are the parameters which are important. So, it is the same information which is here and uh, same table from which uh, same conclusion is being drawn. Of course, the next step is to do ANOVA on this uh, um, linear fitting that we have done. So, let us do that. So, you get these uh, uh, values here and uh, you can see that uh, this is uh, partly a reproduction of uh, this uh, uh, table which is the next table and uh, for example, residuals is 6.188. So, that is the information here and uh, they have also included the main effects and two way interactions separately uh, with sum of squares. You can do that too. So, here is the command to do that. Let us do um, so this is forty point five eight zero four, uh, which is the same quantity which is given forty point five eight zero. And if you go from eight to twelve, which are the uh, two way interactions, so you will get seven point zero five uh, seven. Uh, which is the quantity that you get here, um, two way interaction 7.057. So, basically the ANOVA table can also be reproduced and of course, we also want to reproduce the figures uh, 4 and 5, um, which is uh, for scatter plot of uh, observation versus uh, residuals. 
Of course, I do not have the data in observation order, so this will be slightly jumbled up. Um, but you can look at the presentation where the observation order is also available, so you can get it in that format. And here is the uh, fitted value versus residuals. So, let us uh, do those two plots uh, now, they can also be done uh, rather straightforward. So, so, this is for uh, plotting the residuals, so you get the plot. The other one is for uh, plotting the fitted values versus um, residuals that is also a scatter plot. So, let us do that and this is the plot and you can compare it with the plot from the paper. So, this is the uh, plot from the paper. So, you can see that we get the same plot and you can of course, draw a line at a 0 to separate this data and look at how it looks. Okay, so, this is uh, for uh, doing the uh, up to residuals and I am going to leave the normal probability plot for you to explore as well as the total means for logit efficiency for you to explore. Once we have done this exercise, we can repeat the same thing with um, the unattest percentage, right. So, let us do that. So, we take a logit on annotate percentage and we again fit it for a, um, this thing and you get the fitted parameters and you get the significant ones to be I3, I4, PFR and the intercept. And that is the conclusion that is also drawn from uh, this namely that uh, for Anates, uh, you see that uh, constant PFR, the rest of them are greater than 0 0.05 uh, except for PFR, FR and AFR, CFR. So, these are the only 4 uh, which are important and uh, that is the same conclusion you draw from here. So, up to 0 0.01 um, significance alpha 0 0.01 it is I4 and uh, PFR and uh, 0 0.05 significance it is I3 and uh, 0 0.001 significance it is the intercept. So, so that is what is uh, given here um, in the in the paper. So, so they look at it and then they say that constant x1, x4, x1, x3 and PFR was already there. Okay. So, then you can again do the same plots and do the ANOVA and so on. So, uh, those are the commands that are given here after you have the fit you can make those plots. So, you can make the residual plot, uh, you can also make the uh, fitted values versus residuals plot. And you can compare this figure with what is given in the paper, right. So, this is observation order, yeah, so it is here. So, you can see uh, how this figure compares with this. So, so we are getting same results. And of course, the other quantity to reproduce is the table of uh, ANOVA and you can do that by uh, reproducing the table 7 or at least parts of table 7 by doing the ANOVA. So, you draw the same conclusions and again you can just add up the sums of squares for these and add up the sums of squares for these and you will get the numbers which are the same. Uh, so, we did and uh, you can add up. So, you will get 2.952 and 4.963 and uh, you see that it is 2.952 and 4.963. So, that is the way you get. And there is also of course, a residual which is 3.6314, uh, 
and uh, here residual is 3.6316. So, so it is the same result. So, we can see that we have reproduced. Now, this is not the only command. Uh, there is also another way of uh, uh, doing this analysis, uh, which is what I want to show here. So, let us do this. So, this is the command AOV. So, annotates uh, the logit transformed is a function of. So, this star symbol means that individual that is PFR plus AFR plus PFR colon AFR which is the cross term and any duplicate will be removed. So, PFR CFR means PFR plus CFR and PFR CFR but PFR is already there. So, that will be removed and so here this is another way of writing the same interaction. So, PFR has an interaction with all this, AFR has an interaction with these two. So, those are the 5 interactions and the remaining terms with without interaction and with interaction terms. So, you can do and then you can do a fitting and you get the same result. I mean the results are not at all different which is expected except that now instead of I1, I2, etc., you can clearly see what the interactions are also. So, this is another uh, one line command for you to do the same analysis and get the same sort of uh, results. And you can also do this not just for um, um, ANOVA, you can also do it for efficiency. So, let us do that also. So, you get the same conclusions namely that these 3 interactions are important and these 4 are important and these are not important um, from the point of view of uh, the um, significance. Right? So, so, this is the uh, paper and so we are able to reproduce uh, uh, most of the results and the remaining ones also you will be able to reproduce yourself. And it is also a good idea to understand uh, these uh, significance levels and uh, the table 9 validation trials. But I am going to leave that uh, to you uh, to, to explore on your own and because all the data will be available and the presentation uh, of design of experiments is available and this uh, script will be available to you. So, it should not be very difficult for you to reproduce them on your own. So, to summarize design of experiments is very important and you can optimize process parameters by carefully setting up the experiments and then analyzing them and such statistically planned experiments and the statistics that you get from them will make life easy for you in terms of optimization. Otherwise, there are too many parameters and you need to take a call on um, how many experiments you will do and how you will change the parameters and so on. So, this is a nice way of doing it and for doing that of course, there are lots of libraries in R which you can use, but I have also shown you that with whatever we have learned, we have learned linear model fitting and ANOVA using just these two commands or combinations of such commands, uh, you can get all the information you want. So, if you want to set up a new set of experiments for some optimization here is a way to explore. And I also strongly urge you to go through the material on design of experiments and the libraries that are available and the uh, other ways of doing things. For example, I have not shown how to make the design matrix, uh, but you can generate those things also using R, uh, which will help you set up your uh, experiments. Uh, so, we have looked at one two factor experiment and uh, uh, reproduce the design uh, of experiments uh, analysis that was done in the paper. Uh, I hope this will help you set up more experiments of your own along these lines. Thank you.